Dream Chaser is a small space shuttle of the future. With its unique aerodynamic design, it's capable of landing on any commercial runway in the world. Needless to say, the Dream Chaser is indeed a versatile rocket. Sadly, its launch has been pushed back on so many occasions owing to different reasons. The most recent one being that the COVID-19 pandemic put a pin on construction across its facilities. Today on Super Freaky Science, we'll be looking at Dream Chaser's big launch, which is projected to happen sometime in 2022. Reasons for the 2022 launch date Sierra Nevada Corporation has announced the launch date for its much-anticipated Dream Chaser launch. The Dream Chaser is a dynamic, reusable space plane, the first of its kind, and the Dream Chaser Space Systems is the cargo variant of SNC's Dream Chaser Space Rocket, which is meant to transport cargo into orbit. The crewed variant, which is yet to be constructed, is, however, meant to convey up to seven passengers into lower Earth orbit. The Space Shuttle is among others contracted by NASA to ferry crew and resupply cargo to the International Space Station. The Space SUV, as it's commonly called, was initially supposed to make the first of many flights to the International Space Station in 2020, but this plan was foiled when company officials announced the delays they were facing. Sierra Nevada revealed at a briefing back in November of 2020 that the coronavirus pandemic was the main factor behind the delays in the development and assembly of the Space Shuttle. This has been a trying year with the COVID restrictions and quarantines, said Steve Lindsay, Senior Vice President of Strategy at Sierra Nevada Corporation Space Systems, at a televised briefing. Restrictions and quarantines at most of its major facilities forced production to come to an unfortunate halt. Like many other enterprises, Sierra Nevada had to come up with other means of getting production back on track. When speaking on the issue, Steve Lindsay said, We're going to keep fighting through the COVID challenges, get this thing built, and we're going to get it flown as soon as we can do so safely. In the hopes of getting things back on track, the company intended to resume production and launch the Dream Chaser sometime in late 2021 in its commercial resupply service contract with NASA. However, due to unforeseen circumstances, the launch date was pushed back to 2022. At the briefing, Sierra Nevada executives revealed some of the setbacks that pushed the launch schedule further ahead than anticipated. One such hurdle being COVID-19 restrictions at the contractor's facility in San Diego, preventing SNC engineers from being on site to oversee and monitor structural testing of the Dream Chaser's cargo module. The company worked out a solution by using a control center in Colorado to enable its engineers remote access to monitoring the progress of the tests. SNC's Steve Lindsay said that worked great. Unfortunately, it took probably three or four times as long as it should have. Another problem was with contractors and suppliers who had to suspend production deliveries due to the COVID-19 outbreaks at their facilities resulting in a complete shutdown of production. This impacted the assembly timelines of Dream Chaser in addition to some other technical difficulties experienced with the space shuttle systems. All of those things have conspired to move the date a little bit, said Steve Lindsay. Still tracing new dreams. While SNC is busy at work developing Dream Chaser at NASA's behest primarily to supply the International Space Station with crew and cargo, the company is currently in search of other customers for its Star Space Shuttle. We believe that the market demand is out there, said Lindsay at a November briefing. In this regard, Sierra Nevada has been successful in securing a contract with the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs for its space launch. The deal is meant to provide space access to United Nations member states that don't have their own space program. The launch, which is set to take off sometime in 2024, is supposed to run for a period of at least two weeks in free flight, carrying up to 35 payloads. The Dream Chaser cargo plane named Tenacity is currently under construction for its future NASA and UN launches. 
The Dream Chaser cargo system has a dynamic design built to touch down on any commercial runway capable of accommodating a Boeing 737 aircraft. Its unique modular design allows it to accommodate a wide range of pressurized and unpressurized cargo to and from the International Space Station. This also makes it easy to handle soon after touchdown, unlike most spacecrafts that would be allowed to cool for hours after re-entry before being handled. With Sierra Nevada experiencing delays with its Dream Chaser launch, it continues to remain committed to other innovative space projects. For quite some time, Sierra Nevada has been focusing on developing not just space shuttles, but space stations for commercial use, which would be available to members of the public. The company's vice president for space systems, Janet Cavandi, showed illustrations of the Life Habitation, a space station incorporating inflatable modules that could be used on the surface of the moon or even Mars. The project has been under development for NASA's Next Space Technologies for Exploration Partnership Program. This is our vision for the future. We have visions for how to build platforms in space that can be built commercially for use in applications ranging from scientific research to tourism, Cavandi said in a press statement. Although the Life Habitation project is aimed at low-orbit tourism and lunar applications, its ultimate goal is to be used on Mars as the planet's first human-sustainable structure. The race is on. SNC is under contract with NASA to fly at least six launch missions to resupply the International Space Station over the next five years. All six flights were intended to be launched by NASA's Atlas V rocket, owned by the United Launch Alliance under a private commercial deal completely funded by SNC. But as of 2020, SNC revealed that it will now be launching its 2022 maiden flight on ULA's Vulcan rocket launcher instead, as per its deal with NASA. The 2022 Dream Chaser launch will also feature an additional part to the Dream Chaser vehicle. An expandable cargo module would be a 15-meter attachment to the vehicle. This is to enable the rocket to carry an extra 10,000 pounds of pressurized and unpressurized cargo to the space station. The extra module, called the Shooting Star, which is able to dispose of unwanted cargo by burning up on re-entry, will also have solar panels and six additional thrusters to enable different rotations and maneuver sequence during docking to the International Space Station. With the addition of the Shooting Star, the crew on board the International Space Station would have access to the Dream Chaser through a hatch on the Shooting Star. The SNC's Dream Chaser cargo is just one of two other projects awarded to the International Space Station's cargo transport contract by NASA in 2014. The other two being Elon Musk's SpaceX with its flagship, Dragon 2, and Northrop Gunman's Innovative Systems and its flagship, Cygnus. Cygnus already has over 10 cargo supply missions under its belt, and SpaceX's Dragon 2 has both cargo and crew missions successfully completed, provided it doesn't postpone the launch date again. With all the hiccups Dream Chaser has encountered, do you think it will make its launch? Or is SNC just going to keep postponing its launch date? Let us know what you think about it in the comment section below, and be sure to hit that like button. Remember, subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications to stay up to date on all of our latest content.